Hi, welcome to the web design project. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found here at this, this URL. The URL is case sensitive and it is loaded here. Okay. All right. And of course, the files are in the folder C10 Web Design 2024. And we are doing the index file, which is the prototype. Okay, as you can see, we are almost done. Let me close the characters window. We are almost done with the prototype. Technically, you can send this to your client. Of course, you don't send a P you don't send a Photoshop file to your client. You have to send a JPEG or something, you know, so that the client would would be able to open it. Right? They may not have Photoshop. So, um, all right. I lock the content layer, so wherever we are going to do, uh, but before we send this to the client, we want to make one last improvement. I call it the curtain, basically a couple of, um, a couple of shapes on top of the, um, on, to on top of the top banner to, to make it to have more texture and you're building for a church, you know, they like things that look a little bit more, you know, um, with more texture. Okay. So um, we're going to do that curtain, the last layer. So pick that and you realize I introduced a lot of techniques here in Photoshop. You do not need to use all of them for your web design. Obviously, this is just to I want to I want to cover as much techniques as possible. So in this curtain, uh, I covered the technique of how to you know use one shape to cut off another shape. Um, but again, you don't have to use that for your web design. It's just something good to know. OK. So first we want to turn off the guide. We want to use greet to do the shape, uh, to do the curtain shape. All right, go to view, show, turn off the guides. Okay, so this is what it looks like when a client gets it, with the middle part at least. And then we want to turn off the the grid, which is like a gra graph paper. We did it before. We use it before. All right. Obviously, this is not aligned with what we have been doing. So let's go to edit. Preferences. Guide grid and slices. And change the grid to 20. 20 pixels. So the graph paper looks much more align with what you did okay and then zoom in to the top to to here okay we're going to draw a circle and then a semi circle all right make sure the the curtain layer is selected okay look at this one Change the foreground color to 3E, 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 or you can just use the eyedropper tool to click on the background layer. Automatically, it's changed to 3E, 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 So I want the circle to be the same color as the background, so user won't really see it. Or you can key in the number, that's fine too. Okay, so foreground color changed. And then under rectangle, there is a tool called ellipse to so pick that basically it means circle right but the circle may not be perfect circle so pick that and the fill will be the same as the background it should be if not you can choose it again the stroke should be nothing it should be if not you can choose it again and now we are going to draw a perfect circle of 20 pixel plus 20 pixel here to draw, draw a perfect circle, you, 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 if you still remember, you pre use the shift key Okay, for the perfect circle. I think the, um, the space bar is to move. Okay. Let me try that. Shift key. 
and then I draw a professor curve of 20 times 20 and then the space bar is to move release the space bar and then release your shift key and did I get it right? okay I'm one pixel to the right I think my hand shake when I release the the, 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 the space bar but anyway so if you're not happy with it just change to the move and then you can use the mouse pad to move it to left so now it's perfect right yep. now you have a perfect circle of 20 times 20 okay you can check here properties is 20, 20 times 20 okay looks really good all right now I want to cut off half of it so move this one up 10 pixels if you use mouse pad you can move like 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay or you can count right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right so you have half the circle hidden now I want to cut off the top half so I only want a semicircle just want to demonstrate the two you know you can do this so um rectangular tool but before you even do that let's choose the curtain layer so you don't have you don't put two things in one you know one one layer choose the curtain layer drop draw a perfect rectangle 20 times 20 on top so now i have a rectangle three and an ellipse one select both of them uh, use the move tool you right click on the move to deselect and then use the shift key select both of them and then cut it off using layer combine shapes subtract front shape so your front shape is obviously the rectangle so if the circle subtract the rectangle you will cut off the top half all right so now you only have this if you want to check on it you can select it and then use your you know key pack to select it to to move it so that looks really good and then let's rename it obviously this is not called rectangle 3 double click on it rename it to semicircle All right semicircle and then i want to duplicate them okay to duplicate use the move tool and then um, you still remember right um, alternate click to duplicate in the move tool so press your alternate key make sure there's no top down movement so you're going left 20 and going down zero okay so that is perfect so if you want to double check all right they should should be okay so if you want to double check you can always use this down up left right you know that is perfect okay so you have two and then you use the shift key to select the two and then the um, move is still move so alternate move So you go right to 40 and go down zero. Release, release. So you have four. Ew, I forgot something. I forgot the drop shadow. Okay. Um, let's create quickly create a drop shadow for one of them and then we duplicate. So under the semicircle, let's create a drop shadow. Select the first semicircle, drop shadow no global light make sure there's no global light 135 angle opacity 65 and distance let's do a 220 okay all right so we have drop shadow for one of them now alternate drag alternate drag 
alternate drag. So you duplicate the drop shadow for all four. I, I should have done it in the beginning. My life will be easier now, but it's okay. It's done. Now zoom out. Okay. So we, we have four shapes. I think you can just, um, I think you can just use the move tools. No, you cannot. Okay. Now you have four shapes. Now you have you have to do this shift select four shapes and then alternate move go right 80 down zero let go let go okay you let go the mouse first and then you let go the shift key let me close the properties now in curtain I can select everything in the curtain here use the shift key Alternate move. I think it's 160 to the right and um, no down. Let go the mouse, let go the keyboard. Zoom out. Now select everything in the curtain. Shift key, select everything in the curtain. Move to alternate. I think up and down, make sure it's zero and to the right is 320. Let go your mouse, let go your keyboard. I think I'm just going to keep doing this. Alternate move. Up down should be zero. Right should be 320. Let go your mouse, let go your keyboard. And I need how many? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten more. Okay. I think I can just pick ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Let's pick 11 just in case. Alternate move. Oops, I picked one wrong one. We'll fix that later. I think we are good enough. Make sure the down is 0 and right should be 200 should be good. All right, I have a duplicate shape here, but it's covered, so it doesn't matter. All right, I think it looks good, don't you think? Okay. So now you have a curtain effect here. You know, church like to have a lot of decorations and all that. So let's turn off the... Turn off the greed. So this is what your client will see. It looks really good on top there. I mean, if you cannot make, you cannot do exactly what I do as long as you, you know, get the curtain, that's fine. And then let's see the, the guides, okay? Because we still have one more step to export this to show the client. All right, let's do a file save, okay? Um, so the next step, we're going to export the JPEG file for the client. So that's a good place to stop. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.